Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another Art Snacks unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing the January 2018 Art Snacks box and I am ridiculously excited to do so. This is the first box of the year, so yay for that. If you do not know what an Art Snacks box is, Art Snacks is an art supply subscription box that you can get every single month and it's like Christmas every month. It is $24 plus no shipping to everybody who lives in the United States and it is essentially $30 $34 for everybody internationally because that includes $10 shipping. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and open our Art Snacks box. Before we get into the supplies, however, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. It is a new month, so that means there are new things going on. So first and foremost, I have Art Supply Raffle every single month, and that gets you free art. It is completely random, so if you join, you get entered into that. Plus, uh, for a dollar or more, you also get access to a free coloring line art. And if you color that and share it with me on the Patreon community tab, then you get a chance to win free art as well. Plus, if you pledge more, you get more rewards, such as prints and buttons sent to you every month in the mail. So please consider pledging. A link will be up here if you're interested. So now let's get to the supplies. So first, I'm going to take the card and I'm going to set it aside so I can reference it later. And then we're going to take a look at the Art Snack sticker. This one is different as well. It's really cool. It's got like this uh, slate blue kind of color with a like limey green eraser. It's really pretty. Then we've got a lifesaver and my favorite lifesaver flavor, which is grape. So I'm very excited. And everything else, I think, is in the tissue paper. So we're just going to set the box aside. And now we're going to have a really hard time opening this as per usual. We got lots of pins or pencils or markers or something uh, so first we're going to take a look at this funky looking thing so this is a uniposca pin this is in blue as you can tell from the cap um, <laughs> what is this um, let's see you shake it and oh this is like a like a pin you push it down to get the ink flowing okay and this is actually a brush pen, so Uniposca recently made brush marker pens, which I'm very excited about. So this Uniposca pen is a $9.99 retail. It's got actual bristles, as you can tell, which is pretty cool. The ink has not flowed down into this yet. It is opaque and water-based pigment that writes down on all surface types. And it has odorless ink as well. And you can actually see that it is coming down into the tip, so I'm going to set this aside and let the ink flow down. So now let's move on to the next item, and it, there are actually two of them. They are the Marabou Aqua Pin Graphics. They are double tipped, so we got a brush tip and a fine tip, and we've got what seems to be blue and gray. These are a $5.98 combined retail, and this is actually the staff favorite of the month. These are felt tip watercolor pens, featuring a fine tip and a brush tip. They have water-based pigment ink, and they work best on watercolor paper. You can actually use a brush to uh, get these moving on the paper as well. So let's take a look at these tips. So we've got the brush tip over here, and then we've got the fine tip, which is just basically your average bullet tip. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited about these colors, even though we've got two blues, so I don't know how I feel about that yet, but we will figure it out. Then next up is a pen that I've actually wanted to try for a while now, so I'm really excited that Art Snacks sent these in the box. This is a Tombow Fudenosuke soft brush tip pen, and this is a $3.49 retail. The nice thing about this type of tip is that you can create controlled precise strokes with the flexible brush tip. And you can change your pressure to get thin or thick lines, which I think is pretty cool. This is water-based pigment black ink, so it is ideal for adding details and finishing touches to your work. So next up is a monster of a pencil. This is the Sakura Sumo Grip Mechanical Pencil in 0.7 lead. I can finally use all of that lead that I've got sitting around. So this is a $4.98 retail, and it is a monster of a pencil so it's got a really thick barrel but it's really comfortable and I really like this grip it's also got a really large eraser that you can twist out which is the best feature of this pencil if you ask me 
This pencil is specifically designed for ultimate comfort and function, featuring a triangular grip and a twist eraser like I already showed you. The oversized barrel actually allows for a relaxed grip, making lengthy sketching uh, really enjoyable and comfortable. This pen is filled with lead, so we don't have to worry about just the one stick of lead in here. Yay for that. Alright, so here is everything that came in the box. We've got five different various markers, pens, and pencils, so I'm very excited to use these. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you got an Art Snacks box and if you got any color variations. I would be really interested to hear about them and let me know what you thought of the Art Snacks box in the comments below, even if you didn't get the Art Snacks box. So now I'm going to go ahead over and swatch these pins, get a feel for them, and then we're going to go right into an illustration where I'm going to talk to you further about what I thought of these things and I'm going to talk about the illustration too. So let's head over there. All right, now we are on to the part where we get to scribble all the art supplies out onto a piece of paper. I'm using some watercolor paper because they did suggest that, but um, I really didn't like the effects on watercolor paper, so I actually did this drawing on some Bristol paper. Now, this is not the first piece I created with these supplies. I created a second one, and you will be able to see that at the very end of the video when I show you the full piece in all of its doneness. I really wanted to do something that had an icy feel to it considering I got two blues and a gray. I just felt like some really icy vibes. Plus it's January, so it's still kind of icy, you know, at least where I live. <laughs> so I, the first one I drew was supposed to be like an ice queen witch kind of thing. Uh, just didn't turn out very well. But this one is a cute little ice fairy or winter or fairy however you want to see that um, and I just wanted to have fun with it and plus I'm trying out my New Year's resolution to draw not busts funny story when I went to sketch out an idea for this piece I actually the first thing I went to was drawing a character bust and while I really liked it and would have loved to draw it no we are forcing ourselves out of this habit so I decided to mix a gray and the blue marabou onto a piece of plastic and create her skin tone. Then I watered down the blue again and created the varying shades for her clothes and her wings. And then I take that Posca pin to add a little bit of detail and actually I completely fill in her tutu with that Posca pin just because I liked how it looked. It was still a little transparent but it was really opaque and I thought it was really pretty. Then I add the gray to her hair, and I end up lining with the Tombow Food and No Escape pin. But I want to talk about the art supplies now that I kind of gave you a rundown of what we're doing here. Um, I really like the Food and No Escape pin. However, do not use water over that thing because it just melts. <laughs> I really did not like the Marabou pins. They frayed, and I only used them twice, which is really sad. Um, and plus, the brush tip was just not very springy at all. It was bad. Uh, the colors are pretty, though. Um, I really like the that Posca pen. It's really nice. You can't get really thin lines with it, but I do like how opaque and matte it is. But yeah, um, and as far as the pencil goes, it is a lot darker of a lead than I'm used to, but I really liked it. So here's a look at the final pieces. Um, you can see the one I did earlier and then the one I just did. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to join our cute little squid pod if you haven't already to keep updated on new videos. So until next time, guys, toodaloo!